hey, Norm, guess what's back by popular demand? Me? <laughs> oh, well, you're always in <laughs> demand, Norm. Uh, I love it. Led Zeppelin. Oh, Stairway to Heaven. <gasps> you, does it get any better than that? No, it doesn't. No. Downsizing. That is a big subject. We downsized when we sold our home, our beautiful house in Ottawa, 2,000 square foot. Yes. I miss my home. No, you don't, Norm. You don't miss cutting the grass. I had and, a drive on tractor. And, it was and, great. I could and, drink beer as I drove around cutting the grass. And snow blowing, remember? You oh, used to be was, out there so I could go to work. It was wonderful. I love the snow. No, you did not. <laughs> anyway, we put our house up for sale. Yeah. It took a long time to sell. So yeah. we had 18 months of downsizing and we thought we had a, a we did a good job on it. Yeah, we thought we did. But didn't we didn't. We? No, we didn't. We brought way too much stuff, didn't and the, we? And the trouble is you were emotionally attached. To a lot of stuff and it's yeah. difficult to let that go especially at no value or donation or trying to sell it and get some money from it i had lots of photo equipment i i i had an enlarger that i used to do black and white photos and it it was a really high quality but the thing that stopped me getting rid of it was that my daughter did photography in high school and we both created a dark room and I showed her how to print using that enlarger. How the hell can you get rid of that? So that came with us. <laughs> Oops. As well as lots of other stuff too, didn't it, Norm? It, it really did. It's... It, there is an emotional attachment, isn't there? There's, um, there was the obvious things in downsizing, like getting rid of the huge dining room set that we had, Very which much. we managed to keep until about four days before we actually moved. Somebody bought it, but they came and they let us use it until <laughs> about four days. We got rid of all those. We got rid of sofas. We got rid of um, big, well, what furniture items everything else the, the big stuff is easy to get rid of yeah what's what's going to really stick it to you is the small stuff yeah and let's face it all the photos the photo albums the memories of your whole life your children yeah they come with you. Yeah, we have Do all those. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what space you have. No, we've got totes full of those, haven't we? They're, yeah. they're going to be here forever. Yeah. But it's stuff like you've inherited from your parents. Yeah, and I don't know why we felt that we couldn't get rid of all that, hey, Norm? We brought all that with us too, didn't we? And then um, the stuff that you might you take with you because just in case. <laughs> just in case. You might use them. I mean, we we did bring the big items too, didn't we? Like sofas and beds and furniture. That was okay. Mm -hmm. And in actual fact, in our 2,000 square feet bungalow, we had a massive basement that for everybody who has a basement, you know what accumulates in the basement. It was crammed full of crap. We... <laughs> Did a great job. In actual fact, our son came over, didn't he? Came down for he, one weekend. He helped us a lot. We rented one of these huge skips and we... Whoa, hang on, we hang cleared. on, Tina. You're talking English again, oh, British. Skips? Dumpster. Oh, dumpster. Okay, we rented a huge dumpster and we filled it. Oh, geez. Filled it. And we thought, this is awesome. We, we're way ahead of the game. <laughs> It hadn't even started. It, it, it's, I don't know if it's a mental thing or a mindset, but to go from a big house, whether ours was 2,000 square feet, I can't imagine if it was you have a home of three or 4,000 <laughs> square feet, to move into a 1,500 square feet 
apartment. You need to be ruthless. We weren't. Were so, we? so basically, with our house, <laughs> the lawn tractor, the barbecue, they, they, they all went. Yeah, that, that was easy to get yeah. rid of. But my parents, Edinburgh Crystal uh, glasses and decanters, um, the small stuff that really tugs at your heartstrings. You you have to step outside of yourself and say, "Do my children want this?" We we asked our children, "Do you do you want any of this stuff?" And they no, they, they looked at us as though we were frigging Martians. No, they weren't interested. But we still brought it all with us, didn't we? We did. We filled a massive moving truck and two cars to bring all the stuff, and we thought we did a fantastic job. Yeah, we downsized. <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> so we need to downsize again. What we downsized from, we need to. We've started again, haven't we? <laughs> so what we're really trying to tell you is that downsizing, you're not going to do it in no. six months or eighteen months. It it's going to be almost in retirement a lifelong thing, because you start becoming detached. Yeah. To certain products that you felt you were attached to. And so view retirement as eternal downsizing. <laughs> yeah, we did the first go at it, didn't we? But then it's a continuous thing. And, and just to sort of remind people of all the different ways you can downsize, we did everything, didn't we? We mm -hmm. put things on Facebook Marketplace. We advertised in the local papers. We put, Kijiji Yeah, as well. Kijiji. We put um, adverts up in the, the local stores. We, like washing machines, tumbled out, all that. We had no trouble selling a pile of that, did we? We, we had like $10,000 washer dryers. Yeah. The, the latest stackable We've, front yeah, loaders. You name it. We... In the latest grey colour. Well, we managed to get. Yeah. Those sold. Yeah. But basically, we're down to now the emotional stuff. Like, the first camera that I bought that I photographed my first child with. And why is it such a big problem? It, it, because I bought a Nikon FM. Emotionally, you can't And get my rid daughter it, was right? born. Yeah. I took the first picture of her, came home used the enlarger, made a black and white print of my daughter, and I mailed it to my parents and to Tina's parents overnight because they didn't come down. We, we lived four hours away from where they were. In England, that was like, <laughs> like go, go, going to North to America. Yeah, from here to Vancouver, <laughs> wasn't it? They just were on a different scale, weren't they? And I haven't used this camera for such a long time, but... Do, do you take it to your grave or do you sell it and let somebody else enjoy it? Maybe a photography student. It's a these, tough the, one. These are the problems you're going to encounter. Mm -hmm. we, we're just trying to prepare you for it. It is very difficult, very difficult. And we're asked constantly, how did we do it? And we said... We did do it, but we just didn't do it enough. We needed to have been more ruthless in what we brought down. And we thought, wow, we got rid of so much stuff, didn't we? It so was... just, just recently, we were having these thoughts. We have too much stuff. <laughs> I would say too much crap, but no, Tina too won't much let me stuff. say that on YouTube. Too much stuff. So we picked a couple of kitchen cabinets yeah. and glasses. <laughs> My goodness, we, we all so of our YouTube glasses. subscribers, we we had got, a glass for each yeah, one have, of you. We have a glass. Everybody can come for a drink. We've so many glasses. So we <laughs> we got... packed them into boxes, and Tina, God bless her, took them down, down to, to Goodwill. Th yeah, and so we actually have kitchen cabinets now that you can see the glasses in before there were so many glasses couldn't even get one out 
It is, it, it is funny, but it, it is a huge problem, isn't it? It is. It's, so so it's going to be an yeah. editing process yeah. that an will, ongoing. will be ongoing. And the thing is, you have enthusiasm to do it, yeah. and then it wanes. Yeah. So then it's like, okay, let's go on a trip. Let's yeah, go to exactly. The, let's so we go don't have trip. to look at this stuff. Let's go to the trailer, then we don't have to look at our downsizing problem again. And uh, so, oh, I, so I've got all the cameras yeah. to get rid of. I've got the photo enlarger. I need to get rid of that. It's just taking up space that we never use this stuff. And you have to cut the ties. And that's what we're telling to yeah. you. Get into the frame of mind where you can cut the ties with the stuff that has emotional bondage to you. Yeah. And we, we're we just telling you from our experience to help you. I wish somebody had perhaps told us that you do this first run at it and it's it's like packing for a trip. You yeah. put everything out on the bed and you think, we're going to take all that. And then you realize <laughs> the weight of it is double it what won't, it, it won't, won't fit, fit in, in the, the case. case. So you get rid of half the stuff and then it fits in the case and you're ready to go. That's the same with downsizing from a house to an apartment. It really is. If we'd have laid it all out, seen the size of the moving truck and thought, do we really need to take all that to our apartment? And pay for the move. And pay for the move, yeah. And we had to pay to store it for two weeks before it could come in here. And if we'd have done that more brutal, it would have cost us less in the first place to bring it, wouldn't it? It really would. Yeah. So if you've enjoyed this video, we think you're going to like this video yes. over here. So... We're so appreciative that you do show up. Yes. And watch our videos. And we love to see all of you. So until the next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.